Hi, it's British Illusion, and today I'm going to answer a question that I had in my second to last video from Chris Packer. Uh, he wanted to know how I put my weathering on my Pack 40s. Well, basically, I, I do the same sort of weathering style on all my sort of 15mm uh, stuff. So I'm going to show you how I do it. A quick, simple way. Uh, it's, it's probably not the um, the most sophisticated, but it, it does look, I think, it's, for how long it takes, it looks really good, I think. So I'll, I'll show you what I do. Right, you get your bit of foam, uh, normally out of uh, packets of figures, you always get this little bit of foam, or bigger bits of foam, cut to shape, and you use the corner, and I use, for the chipping, the first stage, I use um, Vallejo German Grey, which is uh, 995, and I squirt a little bit in the my little paint tray, and dab, 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 soak it up, but this is the trick, is don't use it fresh from that, almost treat it like dry brushing, so you dab it off, on a bit of paper, on a bit of tissue, bit of paper, so it's almost off. So you're not going to make much of an imprint when you come to put it on the model. So then you go for the edges to get that edge chipping effect, like so. Just keep going round. Well, I'm not going to keep doing this. I'm going to cut cut the uh, video now and then come back and show you how it looks. All right to the next stage right now I've gone all the way around this with a sponge and once you've done that you break open a metal paint uh, here I'm using a, a Citadel um, lead belcher as the base or bolt gun metal whatever one and just a little tiny brush or in my case a larger brush and just on the edges where it's quite pronounced just give a little tiny flex of silver not across the whole line just here and there very very subtle because it only just sort of so the silver it, it almost acts as like it just catches your eye on the on the and you don't have to do it where you put the the German grey but it just helps if you do a little bit and just here and there not not everywhere and it just really sort of, you see what I mean in a minute when I show you. So I'll carry on doing this because I'm not going to keep filming this. So hang on. Right, this is literally about 10 minutes worth of work. So it is a really fast method of chipping a 15mm tank, weathering it up. Uh, as I say, you can see the, the silver flecks coming through, the German grey. Try and sort of hit the, the silvery flecks onto the grey. Just here and there, nothing too much. And, and uh, you get that nice effect. So I hope that helps uh, with people wanting to know that. Chris Packer. Uh, there's the, this is the Pack 40, all finished and based. I've actually put like um, a, a, the, a sort of a glossy wash to give that sort of uh, sort of muddy look. Makes it look a bit realistic. Let's zoom back a bit actually now. Uh, what else I've been doing? I've been making up, I watched uh, Bridge Too Far yesterday afternoon and sat there and made all my uh, Shermans up. I've still got to finish them off, but yeah, get them on. Uh, these are a bit uh, mistreated. I haven't really been working on the figures that I thought I should be working on, but uh, I've had other things to uh, sort out. Uh, what have we got up here? Yeah, I finished basing them up, and I wanted to get these done. I was going to chip these up for the video, so but I haven't got any decals, so I've got to order some of them. Sort of 30 core, what was it, the Irish Guard or whatever. So I'll be pushing on with them. So I thought I'd uh, get one of these painted up because I do like the old Jag Panther. I'm waffling now. And I was going to do a Stug as well, but I haven't got around to it yet. So anyway, thanks for watching and I'll push on to Moscow.